So this is Zippy, the uh, smallest bipedal robot. Zippy is pretty short. Uh, it's about three centimeters tall uh, with a leg length of about 2.5 centimeters. Small robots are important because they can go into tighter spaces and go on rougher terrain than wheel robots at that size. And these situations usually occur in uh, industrial inspection, disaster search and rescue, as well as geologically interesting areas where we can do scientific research. And it's also self-contained, meaning that all the controls, power, motor is all on board and is able to operate autonomously. In this project, we're trying to study how locomotion scales as you move up and down. In this case, when you go smaller, uh, what changes in terms of how difficult it is to control. And uh, what this robot is actually able to go at 25 centimeters a second. It's not quite that fast, but when you compare how small this robot is, uh, it's about 10 leg lengths per second, which is the fastest out of all the bipedal robots. For these larger robots like humanoids, we have to have very precise motor control to make sure that the robot is doing exactly what the programmer tells it to do. At the smaller scale, this becomes harder and harder to do because the actuators and sensors uh, become noisier and noisier. To solve this problem, we use hardware to mechanically feedback in the system where the hard stop actually doubles as both a joint limit for the hip as well as mechanically feedback to regulate the leg speed. So Zippy has one motor along its hip axis and it's controlled by a hard stop. So as, as one leg swings by the motor, it reaches the hard stop, which allows the other leg to kind of lean forwards and swing forwards as it walks. Another thing about Zippy is that it has rounded feet, which allows it to sway sideways and rock back and forth. And the weights on the arm allows it to sway sideways a lot more so that it can lift its feet up to swing back and forth. So far, we look at the locomotion characteristics of the robot, and we believe the next step is to add more sensors to it, such as the inertial measurement unit, as well as a camera, so it's able to localize and autonomously navigate its environments. I think this uh, robot also has an educational impact in that this allows students to explore the concepts of legged locomotion, as well as mechanisms design, hopefully inspiring them to design uh, fun robots just like this one.